Hi there. Hope you're having a marvellous day. Today we're going to do a little experiment and actually dispute the findings of an experimenter, a flat earth experimenter, that goes by the name of Paul on a plane. Now what he actually done was, he got an iPhone, not too different to that one, and he removed the magnetic compass chip from the iPhone. He then calibrated the level app in that iPhone at one particular destination. Then he jumped on a plane, went to another place in the world, completely on the other side of the earth or whatever, and set the phone in the same orientation as it was calibrated in, and it showed that it was level. And he thus claims that this shows that the earth is a flat plane and there is no curvature. What I'm going to show you is that a smartphone uses accelerometers to determine its orientation. And it does not have a gyro compass in it or a gyroscope that actually determines its orientation in free space internally. It uses external forces like gravity the acceleration of gravity. That's what an accelerometer does. It measures acceleration. The way I'm going to do this is using this bicycle wheel that you would have been looking at while I've been talking and waffling on. And a camera, so you have a frame of reference as you are looking at the phone screen and can see the phone screen with reasonable resolution. It's not going to be very good. It's a very cheap and nasty camera. Then I have the smartphone. This is an iPhone 5. And I've mounted, if you look there, a little magnet actually over the magnetic compass chip in the phone and confused the uh, compass so that the phone can't actually use the compass to work out its orientation. Uh, I felt that this was a lot easier and less destructive than actually removing the chip. If we go over to the compass you can see as I do a 360 degree turn the compass is totally confused. So as you can see we're on the compass slash level app at the moment on this iPhone. I have a magnet here to confuse the electronic compass and as you can see it can find level somewhat no problem at all. It's a little bit confused because of the, the magnet affecting it because it uses the compass to find direction and level to some degree. So what I'll do is to proceed to rotate it and what I'll do is put it in the vertical situation and you can see there that it's pretty much finding vertical on about two degrees or so and you'll see that the bottom is black and the white is top. Now I'm going to spin this and actually confuse the accelerometers and everything that's in there and it won't be able to find level for a little period of time. So let's check it out. So right now we're horizontal and as you can see the thing is totally going tropo and then it finally comes back in. The 
So indeed, this thing relies on inertial forces like G's to establish what level is. So I'll do it again and spin it vertically. We turn it horizontal. And as you can see we're on the ground and it slowly but surely comes back in. So there you have it. The findings of this experiment are smartphones or iPhones in particular use accelerometers to determine their orientation. They do not use gyroscopes and thus are unable to determine their orientation in free space. As in, if you're on one part of the earth and you move to another part of the earth that's at a different angle, it will still say it's level. If you are able to provide a force and actually confuse the accelerometers you can make that thing say it's level at any particular angle. The smartphone you see in this picture, the one used by Paul on a plane, uses accelerometers. Accelerometers rely on the force of acceleration to determine their orientation not as a data logged type situation like in the case of a gyroscope but in actual real-time accelerative forces as in gravity i confused it by adding angular momentum via the wheel and created a centrifugal force which exerted an acceleration on the accelerometers and confused them and this just shows that it doesn't matter where you are on earth on the spherical earth gravity is always vertical heading in a line straight down towards the center of the earth and thus doesn't matter where you are on the planet, the phone will establish a level that will, to the observer, appear to be very similar to any other place on Earth. It will be parallel to level ground, regardless of curvature. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments and questions in the comments section. And uh, don't give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <laughs> See you later.